save to keep it at zero. Yeah, a bit of a throwback. He's 5'10 and yeah. 175 yeah. in that way. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, but most he's goaltenders, your, he's, yeah, he's they're over 6'2 pro- nowadays, right. most of them. Here comes Judding now, wide of Lake Piatala, who's listed at six foot. Now the Beavers trying to get to Piatala. Here's a chance, oh. they do! Right on cue! They put it away, they center the puck, and Casper Magnuson and the Beavers draw first blood. It's one nothing. Well, you get the puck in deep and you go to work and you saw all three forwards behind the net. They gain control of the puck. And Magnuson right in that slot area, didn't even look, got the puck on his stick, and he puts it past Pietala to make it one to nothing. And what a pass by Jopi right off the sideboards to a wide open Magnuson in front, and he turned and fired, and Pietala had no chance on that. For a period that's been dominated by Michigan Tech, Bemidji State gets on board, on the board first. Seventh of the season for Magnuson. He's a freshman, 6'1", 200 pounder, out of Norway. And indeed, Pat, it's been the Huskies period, but Bemidji State withstood, withstood, got the chance, and Magnuson snaps in the first goal in this game, coming up on five to play in the period. Now, Bemidji oh, trying geez. to come in. Numbers now two on one for sure back the other way. Here they come. Nordstrom the low shot. Show him to stop. Rebound. And they score. Chase Pietala. He goes to the top of the paint. And he gets it by Matthias Scholl. And just like that, the game is tied at one. Well, there was a turnover in the neutral zone. Bemidji countered quickly. And then they turned it over. As you can see the shot. And Pietala right on the doorstep, knocks it past Scholl to tie this game up at one. And what's the most important? Both turns at the line, hit a skate. Jones for the Beavers, slowed up. Big counter off in there, kept it away from Flamang. And now Michigan Tech just releasing it out to center. Corcoran's got it inside of his own line. Rasmussen watching him. Bison took a shot, flipped it on. Chase Pietel has got it. Looks up the left wing side, Rasmussen there. Fulmer back to get it. Irie trying to leave it there for Vison, and now Vison and gathers, then lost it. And Corcoran will come in and get it. A little bit of room for him, gains the red, sends it in deep. Bemidji State will change up their personnel inside of 11 to go. Here comes Mosley, 17 on the year, backhander. He's got 18 on the year, tied for the team lead. Ryland Mosley with 10.40 to go in the period gives Michigan Tech a 2-1 lead. And that play started with Bemidji State dumping the puck in. It wrapped all the way around. Bemidji State got caught on one side of the ice. That opened up everything. And Mosley makes a terrific move, goes to his back. And it's one into the corner. Jed Pietola down there, Russell in there, Jackson Judding can't get it out. Now they get it to the side of the crease. Time is gonna run out, they gotta get a shot away in a hurry, and they don't, and Michigan Tech wins the Mason Cup and the CCHA tournament title, and they get the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. It is their third trophy in a row. The Broadmoor in 17, the Sauer Trophy in 18, and in 2024, the Mason Cup. It was a very, very confident team coming into the game. You know, Joe Joe Schwan, you know, he told us during the week, you know, I, I believe in these guys, they believe in themselves. And I tell you what, Ben, you know, we see that the last two years in the Big Ten tournament where Michigan has gone into Minnesota twice and won. And so maybe that they don't feel the pressure of playing on the road in, in front of a hostile environment and, and that home team a little bit. So a word for the Beavers and 
Casper Magnuson. Who was great tonight. He was. I mean, he, he was terrific. University with 34 And your Mason Cup Championship MVP of the game is Rylan Mosby of Michigan Tech University with the game-winning goal. Please receive your honor at center ice. Here's Mosley, the game winner, Pat, as you heard, with Don and Lucia. Tonight's results, the Michigan Tech Huskies are the 2024 Central Collegiate. To Michigan Tech University, Logan Arvid, come and get your trophy. Hockey fans, please show your appreciation to the 2024 CCHA playoff champions, the Michigan Tech Huskies. Starts back in June and July oftentimes, Pat, for these teams in college hockey, and that's the moment, one of the moments, that these teams play this great sport of college hockey for right there, what you're seeing. I mean, think about it. I mean, the season starts in September. And, yeah. You know, you go through the battle, and... And you get to this point, and Tech holds the trophy tonight. They do, and on to Logan Pietela there after Arvid Kataroff had it. They'll all skate it around and celebrate the moment. That six-hour bus ride back to Houghton, oh, Michigan. Oh, be... Nobody I, will be no, sleeping. No one will be sleeping tonight, <laughs> no. What, you know? <laughs> Nobody. And, and they'll get back on the road on Next Tuesday to wherever they'll be yeah, heading. They're on we'll to the We'll find tournament. that out on Sunday afternoon. Yep, early evening. Early evening. There's Blake Pietela, fifth you know, year I, listen, along with brother Logan. I'm, I'm looking at these fans, <laughs> you know, from Michigan Tech. I don't know how many there are here. I got a few hundred. They, they traveled well. That's great. And 